Hey y'all, so that's the world's biggest cornhole, I would say. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the vlog. Starting it off kind of crazy. I'm here at, let me just show you guys real quick. It's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> We're here at this giant stadium. I'm DJ here tonight, or today, or whatever. So I gotta go set up, and I'll see you guys here in a few. Found out where I'm going. I'm going on the stage, literally over here. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm setting up now, and I'll show you guys the rest of the place around after I get all set up. So we're all set up for the most part up here. And now I'm gonna take you guys out. I'm gonna take you guys out here, show you guys this field. This is pretty cool. It's definitely pretty cool. This is probably the first, this is actually the first um, like venue, like professional kind of stadium I've ever DJed in. So this is definitely, definitely, definitely awesome. But now we just gotta figure out how to get me some power because I don't see any power ports or power plug outlets. <laughs> so I'm gonna go try to find some outlets. Okay, so we got power coming from over on the other side of this. But the problem with it is I don't have enough extension cord to reach from here just to right here. So I need about 10 foot. So what we're gonna do is he said he has an extension cord. He's running over there, grabbing an extension cord so we can put it in the back part of it extend my cord over more and then I can plug everything in and I can start. I would definitely be over on time right now but we had about five minutes until I'm supposed to start and really none of it's my fault because I got to still move my car because uh, I can't leave it where it's parked I guess and on top of that um, yeah I had no idea where I was going to go. They didn't have a table for me or anything ready but all in all though we're uh, just gonna wing it and see what happens. All right so I got the car parked over there and now also have an extension cord and now I'm making my way back into the venue over here. So let's go. This place is pretty big, like I said though. But uh good park inside, so I go park out there and now I'm gonna walk back up. Cornhole. That's crazy. Super, super awesome. Alright, 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 we're here. I'm throwing it down right now live at the stadium. I don't even know what it's really called. I could have just read that song. <laughs> but we're here. Let's go. Johnson, we got the shirts now. Check it out. Check it out. She got for Soldiers 2018. The, the best part about it is, look at the back. Woo! Who's that guy? <laughs> All these awesome sponsors. We got Pepsi, a bunch more, but that one. That one right there. Oh, yeah. Guys, so they told me to cut it off real quick because they're going to do a, a national anthem and everything out here. So I'm coming out now to kind of check it out. It's gonna be pretty cool, I think. Let's go, this field is dope. <laughs> Literally the first big, uh, like venue, uh, not really venue, big um, stadium I've ever done. I've never done a stadium. Check that off the list. Yeah, as of right now, they're trying to get everybody that's on the field, off the field, for opening ceremony. Uh, I guess they're gonna do like the national anthem and stuff like that. I don't know if I said that yet or not, but that's what they're doing. And I've never actually seen a lacrosse field. So it's kind of like a large football field, just smaller goals, but it's pretty cool. Uh, this is the second year for us here and the fourth year in Ohio. But I have to say that this venue, out of all the shoot up, out for soldiers venues, is by far the best venue that we could have.
Right, all right, all right, all right. So the national anthem, all that stuff's over with. So now we can play. Let's go. Oh snap, we got the band here now. They're getting all set up and everything. And then I get to go home. <laughs> it's been a good day though, it's been definitely a good day. All right, so I'm all tore down off the stage. I'm gonna go get my car now, bring it back over to here so I can load my car up, and then I can leave. As surprising as it is, I'm really not that tired, but uh, it's definitely gonna catch up to me. I know it will, because I'm only on like three hours of sleep, but who get the car? P.S. It's starting to rain, so I gotta hurry up. Just had to open that gate because I couldn't get out because the gate was locked, but uh, yeah. I was about to say, how do I get my car in here? I'm not putting it all the way out here through this gravel and everything like that, but I got it open. It had a lock on it, and I just was like, it wasn't locked, locked, but it was on there. But we got it, and uh, I think they're about to go close it again. If they do, I'm gonna open it again. Oh, I'm gonna yell at them. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> had to make sure, but let's go. All right, so before I leave, I'd be disappointed in myself if I didn't go over here and play that giant uh, cornhole. So I got to at least go over there and try because what other chance? I might not have another chance like that again. So definitely going to. All right. So everything is loaded up in the car now, but now I'm going to make my way over to this big old cornhole over here. And uh, I'm just going to throw it around a couple times. I don't know how good the footage is going to be because I'm going to try to throw it with the camera, but we're going to at least play it a couple times. Behind this thing, you can kind of tell how big it is. Hold on. Gives you a thing of how big it is. I'm like 6'1", and this thing comes up to almost my shoulder. <laughs> and look at these beanbags. These beanbags are over the size of my head. Unreal. We're gonna try it though. This thing, I don't know how good we're gonna do it. We're gonna try. Boom. We're gonna go three for three, hopefully. Let's see what happens. Hey, it's actually easier than what it looks. <laughs> this is what they need to do. They can't have giant cornhole. Oh, hey. That's so awesome. Then you gotta come down here and you gotta get them. I'm gonna go one more time. See if we can go uh, six for six. But this is definitely cool. These things are huge. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, I feel like. When else am I gonna be able to play this kind of cornhole? Then I'm leaving. <laughs> so big and they're awkward. Here we go. Woo! Almost. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. One more. Boom. Hey, y'all. So that's the world's biggest cornhole, I would say. But we're going to make our way out of here now. The band's all set up. They're going good. So car's loaded down. I'll make this hour drive home. I definitely think I'm going to go home. If I go anywhere else, you guys will definitely come along. But let's go. Actually, let's go run out to the field real quick and see what's going on in the field. I've never seen actually lacrosse ever played. So maybe they're playing out there. I'm pretty sure they are. So. We'll go there and see if we can get some footage of them playing lacrosse. Let's go. Oh yeah, they are playing lacrosse. So, I don't understand the whole idea of this. Oh, oh, he missed it. But anyways, I think you, ideally you just take the ball and you throw it in the net, which makes sense. But I've never seen it get played before. So, another first. World's biggest cornhole and uh, first ever lacrosse thing and first ever um, DJ in a stadium. Definitely cool. I'm gonna flip this camera around so you guys can see what I see. And, uh, oh, they're going all the way to the other side now. But when they come back, I'll flip the camera around so you guys can check it out. All right, so he has the ball. He threw it. Oh, oh, oh. What's he doing? Ooh, he blocked it. Oh, man. It's crazy. Hey. This would be cool if it was rugby. It's like a small soccer ball with sticks. It's like soccer and hockey put together. <laughs> so they're gonna throw it. Oh, and it's thrown. And it's going down. Thank God. Okay, here we go. He's coming through. He throws it over there. So whatever position that is. To that position over there, whatever position that is. Two. All the way over there. From there. Alright, so now they start from over there where they did. And now, oh, 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 it's gonna get it. Ah, oh, it bounced off the rim. <laughs> Dang. So now they started from over here, and now they're all the way back down there again. They're going. They're going. Oh, there it goes. 
there's nobody over there. There's nobody over there. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I guess it's 12 12. I don't know how they tie it up or anything, but this person here, I'm pretty sure. Who has the ball? Who has the ball? Oh, oh that guy. No, this is Person. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Who throws it? Is he going to make it in? All the way out there. All right, y'all. So that's my experience of seeing lacrosse. And then they start back here again, I guess. Yeah. All right. Well, it's definitely cool, guys. Got to see some lacrosse. And they're doing, I think they're setting up beer pong over here. It's a giant beer pong, which is kind of cool. And uh, we're not going to go over there and play that. But we're getting out of here. Let's go. So I'm going to wait a second. This billboard over here is doing like sponsors and stuff on it. I'm going to see if my logo comes up on it. Well, hold up. Hold up. Oh, 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 oh. They blocked it. They've moved now. And uh, yeah, we're going to go back and see if we can see my name on the billboard. I'm definitely hoping my name's on that billboard. I'm on the shirt so I could see. Oh, yeah, everything else has been on there. Come on! Come on! <laughs> come on! <laughs> All right, come on! Oh, I don't think it's gonna be up there. Man, I don't think it's gonna be up there. All right, so I guess I wasn't cool enough to make it on the billboard, but I made it on the t-shirt, so. I don't know if I showed you guys this in the vlog. Actually, I think I did. Look right there, my logo and everything on the t-shirt. And it's next to like, there's a Pepsi on there and everything, so that makes me feel even better. I'm on the same shirt as Pepsi. What's up, Pepsi? <laughs> if you want to sponsor me, like you sponsored them, hit me up. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna get out of here, but they locked the gate back up, so I gotta open it back up again. Dun, 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 dun. Hopefully they didn't lock it, lock it this time. Oh, now I gotta figure out how to get my car out of this gate that's locked. Dang it. Now I can't find nobody. <laughs> see if they're gonna lock it. I'm gonna go over to this front gate over here and see if they can come over and unlock it, because. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> he came to the rescue and hooked it up. Let's go. Woohoo. have so much stuff going on here. They have more fields over behind me back there. And uh, yeah, the big stadium's over there. Um, but I was like, where do I get out of here at? Can I get out this way? And she's like, no, the only way out is that way over there. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll go over there then. <laughs> what a day, what a day, what a day. I know I should go home and go to sleep. I know I should go home and go to sleep. But I don't think I wanna go home and go to sleep. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, so I did the smart thing. I decided to come home and just take a nap because if I would have went out and hung out and everything else, I would have been a hundred times more tired than I am now. So I'm gonna go relax until I have the DJ later on. So I'll see you guys later. All right, y'all, so it's about 8.30 right now. I was supposed to wake up at 7 o'clock. <laughs> but guess what? It's okay because I gave myself plenty of time to get to my gig so i'll get there about eight or it's eight twenty get there about nine something i'll have plenty of time to set up and dj let's go guys let's go <laughs> what a day guys this is the life of being a dj if you can get a couple hours of sleep get those couple out get a lot of get those couple hours of sleep and let's go <laughs> oh yeah we're pulling up to gig number two let's go just enough time literally here before uh, like 9.17 I think it is right now, exact time. But I'm gonna go unload the car, carry everything through the back door, and uh, make my way. I'll see you guys in a few. Oh snap guys, I know it's loud in here, but it's crazy. It doesn't look like that in the camera very much, but there's quite a few people here. You got a class of, I don't know what class, but it's like 20 year reunion, so add it up. But yeah, they're here right now and it's it's crazy. Let's go. Oh boy, someone went a little bit harder in the paint. <laughs> the top of it's all the way over there. Oh my gosh, this thing is pretty well screwed up. The stuff you see at bars. <laughs> right, all right, all right guys. So finally home. It's been a crazy fun night. Pretty fun, pretty full. I'm super tired. I even though I had my nap earlier today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna close the vlog off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was definitely cool. I DJed a stadium today and then I got to DJ my gig and it was super busy. I didn't film as much like 
because I was just in the moment. When I DJ and I'm like in the moment, I'm good in the moment. So it's hard to like pick up a camera and film everything. So uh, yeah, it was definitely a really, really, really great time tonight and today. Also, tomorrow's video is going to be dope. So if you guys know the RK Jackpot Pro and Claw Kicker, I got lucky enough to do a video with them, uh, and that video is going to come out tomorrow. So like I say, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or Snapchat or anything like that, uh, you would see this stuff, like exclusive behind the scenes, like what's going on day of. It's in the link in the description. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, go ahead. I'm down there in the links in the description. But yeah, video coming out with them too tomorrow. So it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, I'm excited to drop it. And uh, it's the biggest collab I've ever did on YouTube. So that's really, really awesome. Um, the only other collab I've did with other two YouTubers was Clawzilla and the Arcade Couple. But tomorrow is going to be literally, like I said, the biggest collab I've ever done. Uh, Claw Kicker has like a million and a half followers. Unreal. Never met a YouTuber with over a million followers until yesterday. So that was really cool. And then... Uh, Justin, which is the uh, RK Jackpot Pro, he has almost 80,000. So still a huge, huge number. But I'm going to close it off here, guys. Make sure you guys check out tomorrow's video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys do not have me subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. We're doing a giveaway at 200 subscribers. I think I'm going to give a gift card away. I don't know if I'm, I don't know yet. If you guys have any ideas what I should give away or what you guys would like, comment down below. And uh, make sure you put that push bell notifications on because I post every single day. I think that's it. All right, guys. Keep on keeping on. Don't let me bring it down. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.